Hello my soccer universe, it is time for a rant video regarding jerseys again and I think the last rant has been for a while. Uh, I think it was before we even could spell uh, Corona, I didn't even know what the coronavirus is, so it has been a while, it was when the first supposedly jerseys for Euro 2020 were released and now, and most of them were Puma jerseys, and now BOOM! Puma came out with a new set and let me say a few positive things first before we go all I actually am not super surprised that Puma came out with new jerseys for all the teams that are that they supply for the Euros um, the Corona times definitely you know the postponement uh, you want to get something new out maybe the teams that will wear them will get successful so uh, yeah release a new line because uh, especially the away jerseys have been around for quite a while so uh, that definitely has to be said so I do understand that part however and also before I go to go, go, to, go, go to the however also Puma has always been on the innovative part of the three big brands Puma, uh, Nike, Adidas, Puma. Puma is the smallest, but because they are smallest, they are very often also the most innovative ones. So that also needs to be said. Puma was never afraid to try things. After all, let me pull it. They came up with the idea that you can go with something like this. So uh, they have decided this might be something that is good. Uh, that, that might be a good saw, saw, soccer, soccer jersey. There are other examples for that. So I thoroughly expect that Puma is if is soon gonna take things to another level again. And yeah, they in a way did with the crafted by culture, which is hit the miss. I think that the Italy jerseys are all hits with the green one for some reason for me actually me being maybe the least hit uh, but I mean well uh, can totally enjoy it uh, but most of the it 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 are definitely hits and I was very much looking forward and that I got the whole set or I had my family get the whole set for me as presents because I think this is one of the best international sets that we currently have and now we won't see them at the Euro, so my, I'm a little bit crying. But it hurts a little bit with what they came up with. So, I want to go from good to bad. And to be honest, we are starting at medium. We're not talking good. We all have four jerseys to look at. I honestly think that the Austria jersey, where I really did not like the one with the uh, all uh, Art Nouveau style turquoise and especially the new crest, uh, that new crest especially, that did not look good to me. I did not like this, this, this jersey. I have thought about getting it uh, re, re recently when I could, could have gotten it for 20, but ultimately decided against it. So yeah, they came out with another black, black one, which in the promo fo of photos is still worn with turquoise pants, which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. And I have to say, yes, the absence of the crest, or well, let's call it the commercial logo, is staggering. It is sublimated into the pattern. However, any Austria jersey not fit, featuring that one, actually looks all right. And to be honest, I do not mind it for a change that it doesn't, there's no crest, it says just Österreich, meaning Austria. That's all it says there. And then a Puma log, log on top, and then you have the thin stripes with the flag come, coming in. Actually, I have to say, this is, a sound, this, is a, this is something I absolutely do not mind all that much. Um, yes, it looks a little bit weird, and it definitely looks like a practice jersey. And all of these look like practice jer uh, jer jerseys, but I think this Austria jersey, I can actually get somewhat -ish behind. Is it great? No. But... I don't mind it that, 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 that much. The one thing that I wish for, and I have always said an Austria jersey should actually feature somewhere the flag a little bit more bold. Make those stripes uh, like four times the width and I think you would have a great jersey right, right there. And if you take them, the old crest in, in, in the center instead of Österreich, 
Although, as I said, I don't mind necessarily Österreich there. I think you're on to something here. So I think the Austria jersey, I think if we go from, um, <laughs> I won't say the good, the bad, the ugly. <laughs> Uh, I would not call it good, I would not call, call it bad, this is medium. But now we're going to the bad. And I have to say, the Switzerland and the Czech Republic, yeah, it gets even more, yes, there's the crest there, and I, I, and I say with, with Switzerland, I really don't like, yes, the Swiss flag is just a square. You don't put the flag up there. If this was the roundel that they used to have, I think it would look so much better. But this square, it just does not drive in. For me, any crest that is a square, unless it is Hamburg, it doesn't look right to me. Don't know why. I Maybe I'm weird in these cases, but it doesn't look right. So if, if I look at the Switzerland one, there's really not much there. I wish, I truly wish they would have gone for, for this one a little bit more they did with the goalkeeper kit, where they then put at least the Swiss crosses as a sublimated pattern all over. That actually doesn't look bad. And that is the Swiss jersey. I also find it interesting that they chose the French version, Swiss, probably the uh, shortest one. I actually think when whatever part of Switzerland they're playing, they should adjust the jersey accordingly to Schweiz, Germany, Svizera in Italy and I, 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 I actually don't know how it is in Romance, but uh, you know. I actually think the goalkeeper jersey, that has actually some potential. The home jersey, I I find just bad. And the Czech Republic one, let's say the saving grace is that we are getting rid of this weird linden green jersey, but come on. Come on, I don't get, you have a little strap here, you have a little strap here, you have a little strap here, especially the one here. That is so superfluous. Czech Republic, okay, uh, why do you write it in English? Czech Republic, I don't think it's that hard to put on there. Uh, and yeah, the crest is all right. I wish it a little bit bigger. Could it have looked uh, better if instead of the wor or word mark there was a big crest on there? Probably. Again, debatable. It looks like a practice jersey. It really lo looks like a practice jersey. And I saw on tweet, Twitter tweets where you uh, where, where said, you know, some practice jerseys should have been proper jerseys and these jerseys should have been practice jerseys. I totally agree with that. And now let's, let's get to the ugly. That's the Italy jersey. To me, I think what really, really bothers me here is and I don't even mind Puma trying that you put the crest and the logo here in the middle. Okay, but do we really need the little line here? I mean, yeah, putting it together, yes, we know that the heart is really more at the center, so maybe uh, the placement is anatomically correct. Fine. Uh, but no, it just does not look right in many many ways and especially this vertical line that's the one that really really bugs me again credit where credit is due puma is trying to do new things i think that the color could use some color like this um and yeah i, I sent green here red here italian flag and then you have the blue to kind of get it a little bit in there and then italia no Especially the logo placement, but also uh, playing with, with the colors. It looks like a very simple practice jersey. And for me, it is, it, I wouldn't call it ugly, but it, it really goes in the ugly, in the ugly uh, corner. I don't like it. Now, I have to say, going from this to this is a very, very stark contrast. If you take what they had before this one, which was this very templatey one. Okay, I could swallow this more, but it would be time really then the Puma uh, gets out. And uh, rumors are that after the next World, World Cup, Adidas is taking over, which is a whole other can of worms where I, I am a little bit afraid. I, the one thing I would hope is that they give the three stripes an Italian flag treating. That would be great. Then I could leave Prover probably with Adidas, but I'm afraid we'll see something, you know. 
Italy with the three stripes. Well, I'm intrigued, but I'm afraid this could look not very Italy like. My opinion, right there. But going back to this one, uh, again, I don't like the stripe here. And just the whole practice church, I just look. Well, what the writer says, um, I'm not in favor of replacing a home jersey, but I think if you take this as blue and then you have the Italian flag, and again, you can make it a little bit more bold right across the chest and even right in the white part Italia I think that could look really 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 good I think that I could actually get on board with here because the white it just blends away I think this doesn't look it doesn't look quite good um, I know that word mark on national team jerseys uh, that's where the practice jersey look definitely come comes from and also the lack of uh, real design on it you know I mean I am not a jersey designer, but I guess you saw sooner or later you would 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 come up you would have come up with you know drawing a few weird lines here and there. Um, the new logo placement is definitely forward thinking, definitely something you have to get used to, um, and I guess that's why I think it's ugly because you know uh, we as humans we are very very hesitant to accept change from the norm. And this is definitely a change from the norm. So uh, give it a time. I hated on the Renaissance jersey initially, to be honest. Um, but then I saw for what, what it was. So you need to give it time. I gave myself now three, three days liking this one. I just cannot like it. Uh, it's just something missing. We will see this, unfortunately, yours and not these beauty, uh, beauties. Um, I really hope that we will not see corresponding home jerseys. We might as well. Uh, at this moment now things off limits but I think the, um, the release dates are too close so I think we will see uh, I have the blue jersey here we will see this one as the home jersey and I would love Italy to win something in this one <sighs> my fear is that they reach a final and then they play in the white one and then they win in that one I don't think it, uh, they will uh, necessarily win, win the years, although Italy is like, greatly underappreciated. But if they would win in that, 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 that will mean that this becomes an uh, iconic look. I don't care a little that one. So, yeah. What are your thoughts on these church, uh, jerseys? Again, I don't want to get too ranty. Um, I know I speak probably many people's minds by saying I don't like them. But then there are others that praise them and praise the forward thinking. And, you know, I'm more, I like my traditional looks, especially if they're well done, like um, this Netherlands Lance church jersey where they went with a lion that is modern, but still reminds me of the old Dutch jerseys. I like that a whole uh, lot. Well, sometimes you need to get something we need to accept it and Puma has been trying to do so so yeah um, give and take I don't like it but maybe we'll get used to it maybe not again let, let me know what you thought about these church jerseys give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon bye hey there I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.